Moving on to watercolours now. I'm sure a selection of brushes, but I actually only use one doing this. Now, here's a key thing. When you're using the watercolours, the more wet paint you use, the darker it is. What you can do is you can put a little bit of darkness on, and then by adding more water, blend it out. Add more water, blend out, and you create these lovely tones that you can see me doing now. So if we're going from dark to light. I am blocking in some colours. And here, because I've used watercolour colour pencils, they blend in and bleed together. I'm just emphasising a little bit of green underneath that neck. How you use the paint on watercolours is totally up to you on this. And how you use your pencils. You may want to use felt tip and see if you can make them bleed by adding water to the felt tips. Sharpie pens don't bleed very well because they're very strong colours. But uh, a lot of felt tip pens will bleed and create a really nice effect if you draw a paint over them. There are plenty of other things you can use too, like food colouring or coffee, and create lovely tonal effects with this. Sometimes you might just want to block the colourings full and strong and have no tonal effect. But other times you might want to give it that sort of futurist effect of going from dark to light tones. Occasionally you'll see that the, the felt tip pens bleed as I work over them. As you can see, I'm just blocking in more and more colours here and filling out the picture. The figures, well, I've left them quite plain until now. So let's add some tone. I'm just using a normal shaded pencil on my black figure here. And I've added tone to it, going from dark to light, making it more robotic. As we've seen in some of the futurist drawings we did, sometimes people become closer to machines than human beings, because the futurists loved machines. They thought the motor car was more beautiful than the greatest work of art ever, because it was movement and speed and energy. And we're going to try and show this energy in these human figures now. So when I go into the green figure, I'm swapping to a green pencil and adding green tone, go for pressing harder where I want it to be darker and lighter as I want the tone to blend out from it. Notice where the colours overlap, I'm not colouring in. So where that red figure is overlapping the green, I'm not really colouring in over it. I'm leaving that figure stand out, I'm just doing the areas. The red here, I'm blending in, shading in. So the red figure stands out. But where the figures overlap, quite often, just leaving them blank. That's not to confuse us any more than we are. It's not to the blue one last. Creating this really nice tone. You can decide how much how dark and light you want to make it. But I feel when you do add this tone, you make them look more metallic, more robotic. Now there are plenty of other things you can do to change these pictures, but I'm happy with mine for now. Good luck.